right, in this video, this is T's Math Tips, video number 15, and we're going to look at a Pythagorean theorem example. Got this question from a student. I just modified it a little bit. That way I wouldn't be uh, directly copying, but it's pretty much the same thing. The hypotenuse of a triangle is 13 centimeters long. Which of the following pairs of measurements could be correct for the lengths of the other two sides of the triangle? So we have some choices here. And I have a right triangle drawn down here. And the reason why this is a right triangle, even though the problem doesn't say it's a right triangle, it in fact is because of the word hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is a side that lives on a right triangle. As a matter of fact, it's going to be the side that does not make the right angle. It's always going to be that. The two sides that do make the right angle, we call those legs, the legs of a right triangle. To make sure you understand that before we do this example further, if I draw another right triangle and I start rotating it, the right angle is still right here. That's the 90 degree angle. These two sides are our legs. This side is the hypotenuse. Another fact about right triangles, the hypotenuse is always, always, always the longest side of the right triangle. The legs will always be shorter. With that in mind, we can automatically eliminate choice C because 15 centimeters. You cannot have a side, a leg of a right triangle longer than the hypotenuse. And we're told the hypotenuse is 13 centimeters. Now, I have an A, a B, and a C. A classic formula for the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A and B are your two legs. C is always going to be the hypotenuse. So the A and the B, that's the other two sides, and then the C is our hypotenuse. So we know that C, our hypotenuse, is 13 centimeters. So we're going to take 13 and we're going to square it. And I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, that's 169. 13 times 13 is 169. To figure out the correct answer here, what we want to do is take these two sides or these two sides or these two sides. And one of them is going to be A. The other one is going to be B. It does not matter which one you let A be and which one you let B be. And the only one that's going to work here is D. And let me show that to you mathematically. If I take five squared, I'm letting this be my A, and I'm gonna let the 12 be my B. So five squared plus 12 squared. Let's work this out. Five squared is 25, 12 squared is 144. And if you take 25 plus 144, you do get 169. These other two up here will not work. And just to check those real quick, if we take five squared plus eight squared, I'm taking a squared plus b squared. Five squared is 25, eight squared is 64, and this is not equal to 169. Same thing down here with letter b. If we take a squared, that's gonna be 10 squared, plus three squared, this is going to be what? 100 plus nine, 10 squared plus three squared. And that is not equal to 169 either. And there you have it, a few facts about right triangles. The hypotenuse is always the longest side. It will always be the side that is not making the right angle. The two sides that do make the right angle are called your legs. And then the classic Pythagorean theorem formula, if you will, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.